through all of my fashion designs and fashion history books and finally came up with a large number of resources to pull from. Pull from. Uh, <clears throat> with my designs, I started sketching and um, then still started sketching and um, finally came up with a few designs. Meanwhile, I was also working on 1920s inspired flapper skirts for um, the girls, for the ladies dancing in um, We Love Billy number. Billy is this um, amazing lawyer and he's also um, very attractive with the ladies, so um, for the We Love Billy number we want to showcase that and really make it a fun uh, design. To start off my research, um, again with this small project, I um, looked um, to 1920s dancers and 1920s women. Um, again, I found numerous um, things to um, ins inspiration and things to pull from for my designs. What I learned from um, make it from sketching band members' costumes was I wanted to make a number of sketches um, for Lynn to, for Lynn, my client basically, to pull from and see which one she thought um, and I thought would work best for the show. So um, as I sat down to design and sketch uh, these skirts for the girls, I realized um, I really wasn't coming up with anything new or special that I was really amazed with. Um, so I was feeling a little discouraged, but then I remembered that really all design is, is interpreting past looks and um, pulling from inspiration and creating something that's a little bit different, but really not a whole lot. Um, but you can make it your own and make it special. So my first designs for the girls' skirts, um, I made several. This is my first design. Lynn and I had agreed that the girls would be in black sequin bras. So in the designs you'll see all of those. So this is a skirt. It's one design. A second design. And that's it for closer detail. The third design. And then these are numerous designs that I wanted. Just to get out of one page. Also with sketching, I tried to um, make the girls look like they were um, moving or dancing because an important part of sketching and showing something for a client is to make it look like um, how it's going to be when it's actually on stage. The design we, start, we decided to go with was this design here, which eventually turned into this beautiful start. Uh, the girls had a velcro on the front, on the front, and um, the, this the feathers fell behind. Um, the band members' costumes eventually turned into these vests with a matching bow tie, and uh, this also came from our designs and from the research that we had collected. One thing I also learned about design, um, besides consulting and um, coming up and doing research, was designing while constructing. Um, this jacket was um, all handmade by me. Um, these, the, all of these skirts and the band members' jackets, I just helped. I designed, but I actually did not construct any of them. There's eight of them, and I don't know how many of these. But this jacket was a Master of Ceremonies jacket, um, and so this was my big project, creating um, a wonderful jacket. And I saw that during production of this, um, or construction, we had a lot of different fittings and changes, and um, there's a lot of uh, 
revising and redesigning this, deciding not to have it double breasted and um, many more. Additionally, with these two pieces, I, in fact, did not design or sew any of this, but this piece is the nowadays dress um, where extensive design was put in. Obviously, this is this whole palette right here is research um, and inspired from architecture in the 1920s um, in upstate New York. Um, and this is a fantastic piece of design. Also, this dress is, and all that jazz number, I helped with the beading on the bottom. Um, I don't know how many beads there are here, but each of these strands is about 15 um, beads long, and I also provided um, the beading on the top. Um, and with this dress, is all this jazz number, there was extensive um, remodeling and redesigned and deciding to have this kind of like see-through looking thing instead of this black um, sequined on the breast. Um, besides just seeing my design be constructed and made, I saw um, my designs come to life and my projects change. Um, seeing my designs come to life was amazing and seeing them on the stage was um, very, very inspiring. Now I can navigate through my closet um, and not feel like it's a massive jungle. I feel much more confident in designing. Thank you.